Michael Kaizo is one of the best players that we know in Blue Lock, and he could also be the best U20 player that we know. In this video, we're going to discuss his abilities, his character, as well as the reason why I think he is one of the best new Gen 11s. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, but only if you enjoy. You can also let me know in the comments what you think about Kaizo as a character and the new Gen 11s. And now, without further ado, let's get into it. First thing first, Kaizo is the player with the highest market value we've seen yet which makes players like Don Lorenzo a bit jealous. His first ability we need to talk about is his vision, which is probably superior to Isagi's. I think so because Isagi just learned meta vision from him and I would be surprised if in such a short time he was able to surpass him. So Kaizo possesses meta vision, which is the ability to see the field from a whole new angle. As Isagi himself describes it, a fourth dimensional vision, meaning a different plan of existence. This is how godly this ability is portrayed. Kaizo can then perfectly coordinate plays with his teammates without having to look at them or to look at the ball. His off the ball movement is also pretty good. And then the finishing touch, the Kaizo impact. The shooting technique that guarantees a goal for Kaizo's team. And it's probably the best shot that we've seen so far. It is so fast that not only you can't see the moment where he hits the ball, but you cannot see the moment where the ball gets past you either. Confirmed to have the fastest shot swing in the world even at such a young age, it is the one stat in which Kaiser surpasses Noel Noel. He is also a very decent defender, and I think he is pretty relative to Isagi when it comes to it. I know that Isagi has more feet, but it's because of his position. As a midfielder, Isagi can run up and down the field and defend and attack and do everything he needs to do. Kaiser, as the main striker of the team, needs to be in front at all times. But we've seen him defend pretty efficiently whenever he had to go back. So it is pretty debatable. Let me know in the comment who you think is the better defender between Kaiser and Isagi. But now let's talk about his character. Kaiser is the type of player that is very arrogant but that also has the skill to back up what he says. He also thinks very highly of himself because he thinks he can be considered no one as equal as he is right now. And just like our guys in Blue Lock, we all know that he shares the ambition to be the best striker in the world. And this is very easy to understand. First of all, he joined the Neo Egoist League for two main reasons. The first one being to show the world that he could be seen as Noah Noah's equal when they're playing side by side. And the second one is to boost his value so another club can pick him up. Because he knows that if he joins Bastard Professional Team at the moment, he will be the shadow of Noah Noah. And he thinks that wouldn't contribute to his development. But this is very interesting when we think about it. Because in the way him and Ness talk about it, it is as if the other members of Bastard team aren't even a problem for him. Bayern or Bastard being one of the best teams in the world, I would be really surprised if Noah was the only worthy player. They must hold some remarkable talents. And I would be very surprised if Kaiser didn't know them. But while knowing all this, his only worry is Noah Noah, the world's best. And that makes me think that Kaiser has the level of a professional player. Or at least he is very close to it. Kaiser was also able to face off against Chris Prince one on one. He was even able to get past him and hold his own in a physical battle. There was also the same aura that Noah and Lavinio had when they were fighting. That aura, that tension that tells you that you cannot interfere with that 1v1. That should only be a thing that happens when some of the best are fighting. Or even when the two contestants are evenly matched. That alone shows that Kaiser has a certain relevance when it comes to the pros and the top players. Now I don't know if other new gen 11s have that same relevance. And since it is not confirmed, what I'm about to say is not guaranteed. But I think Kaiser is one of the best new gen 11s, if not the best. Even at their young age, I think every new gen 11 can immediately join a professional team and play for them, just like Loki did. But I do not think all of them are able to immediately become the star of the team. But I think Kaiser has that potential, the same way Loki is already one of the top players, despite such a young age. Kaiser is also considered by Isagi like the perfect striker. Isagi sees him as somebody that surpasses the ideal striker that he wants to become. Which is crazy considering the fact that Isagi dreams very big. Now imagine somebody that already sees himself at the top of the world. Somebody that is consistently inputting new information in his head. And that probably has the biggest imagination of all the Blue Lock players. And that same person could not imagine somebody as good as Kaiser. Kaiser also has an overall stat of 98, having a shooting stat of 98, an offense stat of 96, and a speed stat of 91, which are all S tiers. The other three stats are simply things that he doesn't do. Passing the ball, dribbling, and defending. 
From what we've seen in the Menshine game, we know he has the ability to defend. But he just never goes back to defend because of a striker position. So it makes sense for that stat to only be a B. He doesn't pass the ball because he's the one that receives the passes and scores immediately. And he doesn't have to dribble either because he has good positioning so his team can do the rest for him. But we've seen in his matchup against Chris Prince that he has the ability to dribble. Because he was holding his own against a great defender. Chris is also the reason why I can say with confidence that Kaiser has great physical strength. Because let's think about it, Barrow is one of the strongest players in Blue Lock. And we've seen how easily he got overpowered by Tokimitsu. Tokimitsu who got bodied by Adam Blake with no effort. Now I would be really surprised if you tell me that Chris does not rival Adam Blake or at least isn't pretty close to him in terms of strength. The character that is said to have the perfect body and that is considered a superhero couldn't simply get pushed around by Adam Blake. And we've seen Kaiser go against him in a physical battle and not do too bad. Next, let's compare him to Lorenzo. Now I'm not necessarily saying who is better between the two. But what I'm trying to clear here is that Lorenzo being able to lock down Kaiser doesn't make him better than him. If there was ever a defender that could lock down Messi, that wouldn't mean that he's better than him. And that also causes a certain gravity that allows his teammate to score. Because Kaiser being completely locked down by Lorenzo, Lorenzo can't even put his attention on any other player on the field. Which is for example the reason why he wasn't even in the picture when Isagi scored the goal. Which means that Kaiser is a good enough player that the best defender is willing to put all his attention on him. Logically, that would give other bastard players the opportunity to score since their best defender isn't here. But as stated by Isagi himself, if the game keeps going as it is right now, Bastard is losing. Meaning that the winning strategy for Ubers is to allow Baru to score and to not allow Kaiser to score. Which means that he's supposedly the one that will make a difference in this game. But with all that being said, I'm still waiting for confirmations. I would assume that Kaiser is better than Lorenzo, but that is simply my opinion, this is not guaranteed. The next thing I wanted to touch on is that just like I said in the Barrow video, Kaiser and Barrow or even Messi in real life are the type of players that the whole team is willing to play around. People can talk about the fact that they don't defend or do certain things, but the reality is simply the fact that they are better at scoring goals, so good that they can pretty much guarantee it. The team is then willing to play for them, play for their goal, as long as they can guarantee a win for their team. That doesn't mean that you depend on your team, but that just means that the team depends on you. You're their ace, you're the one they trust, you're the one they are willing to serve. This is simply a proof of talent and not a proof of dependence. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, but only if you enjoy. And let me know in the comment what you think about Kaiser, the new Gen 11s, or any other points that are mentioned in this video. I hope you all enjoyed this, and I will see you all next time. Peace.